Hey guys and guys, this is Savion Hamilton, and today this is your my thoughts and review on The Flash, <clears throat> the TV show on CW. Honestly, I really love that show. That show is really a good show, and a lot of people don't. A lot of people keep asking me, "Do I like the show?" Yes, I really do love the show a lot, and I love season two and season one. Season two was so fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I start watching it off my fire stick right now. And if you hear that, don't mind about the TV. I'm just watching a Batman movie from the 1980s. But anyways, <clears throat> back to what I was about to say about The Flash. Honestly, I was never a Flash fan, to be honest. I never really liked The Flash. He was kind of boring, and he was like one of my favorite in superheroes. So I really wasn't into him that much. But now, since I got into the show, the show made me like him a lot. And I'm starting to like the show a lot. So, this is the story, how the story for this season is. The this, this season 2 takes place six months, six months right after season 1. Where Barry, basically, um, he made this, the time, he went back in time to save his mother. But he didn't, because his future self... Did this time say don't? He said don't save her. She needs to die. She's supposed to die like that. And he didn't save her, of course. And then um, she she was about to die at the end of the after after um reverse flash killed her. He ran away and then Barry got to said to his mother saying that telling that he and his father are okay and they really miss him a lot. So yeah, there's a lot of that other happening between that. And I'm really shocked about that because Barry's actually one of my like, coolest characters ever and I thought we were gonna have a flashpoint but no we didn't do it but at season two it was so happy I was so excited so back to the story so the story basically takes place like six months right after it and Barry feels really guilty about Eddie and getting killed he blamed himself because Eddie sacrificed his own life to kill because it turns out Eberth Thon I can't pronounce his name right but him and um and um Eddie are like related, something like that. So I was so confused. I was like, oh my god, I'm so confused about this. So what else happened? Um, he's basically alone, and he basically doesn't believe that he's not a hero because someone he blames himself over Eddie's death. Of course, Joe, Iris, Cisco, and Caitlin, and um, Firestorm all try to help Barry. So what else happened? Um, so they basically help Barry. Barry feels more happier and stuff like that. And um, of course, there's a new speedster called Zoom, aka the Black Flash, which he seems to be called. He seems to be called Zoom because there's a villain because Reverse Flash has become Professor Zoom, but no, it's called Reverse Flash. So um, the Black Flash, he basically at the end of the season, he becomes his skin. He becomes all skeleton like. So that's how he's the Black Flash, and I really like him. He's really cool. So, um, I recommend you, if you don't like Arrow, you have to watch Arrow, even though you're not a big fan of it, because you need to catch up on all, like, they're both on the same timeline, so you have to watch both of them, like, because it explains what's going on, like, if you, like, in Flash, like, if you're watching Flash, but you're not watching Arrow, and if you find out Laurel, like, Laurel died on, on um, Arrow, and... Like they're gonna, you're gonna get confused. They're gonna get so confused. Like you're gonna, cause something happened between Arrow and that side of Star City, and that you need to catch up on both shows because they're both in the same universe. And I also recommend you to watch Supergirl. That's a good show too. So I really love that show a lot. It's a good show. I like, I really like it a lot. But don't watch Gotham. That's a bad show. Like I really don't like Gotham. It's a horrible show. I regret watching it. So do not watch Gotham. It's a horrible show, and you will regret it. So, um, what else? Um, that's pretty much it. Um, he basically, oh yeah, and he, he also killed one of the main, like, one of the interesting characters, Henry Allen, okay, Barry's dad. He kills him, and that's really sad. I was so shocked. I was like, oh my gosh. Sad. He kills him, and he, and he died, basically. So, um, Barry goes really angry. He thinks about killing him, because that's his father, and understand that, all that rage. He's really angry about his father. And stuff like that. So yeah, he was all ang angry with Zoom for killing his father. He he tries to kill Zoom, but I think Zoom is not dead. He probably was sent by the Speed Force. Those Speed Force thing, the time, those those little ghost things from the Speed Force, something like that. So actually, there's one more thing I actually got to mention where um he lost his powers, and um they basically try to get 
Doom take his speed, and he basically, Dr. Wells told him, Earth 2, Dr. Wells told him that to the only way to get the speed is by creating another particle accelerator. And if you don't know what that is, do not watch season one and you won't understand what the particle accelerator is. It's, it's like this device that gave Barry his powers. So what else? Um, So they used the particle accelerator and I thought I actually thought Barry was going to die. Like I thought he died and I thought Wally West was going to have to become the Flash and he was hit by the particle accelerator. No, Barry is was going to stop the speed force. So yeah, Corey's not going to get rid of Barry that fast. That fast. But I would love to see a Crisis storyline like, where actually Barry did die. They actually did Crisis, they did Crisis, and they're going to do Flashpoint for season three, which I'm so happy about. So, um, anything what else that I missed? So that's basically the story about Zoom and all that kind of stuff. So, um, the actor. The actor's done a fantastic job. Directors, you've done a great job with the show. You all did an awesome job, and I'm so proud of all of you guys. You've done a great job on it. I love Grant Gustin as the fly. He does a great job. And he's basically like so emotional. It makes the show more sad and emotional. I just like that. Like he's basically like every time there's a problem, he always blames himself. He's like, how can I do this? And how can I do that? And all that kind of stuff. So yeah. And my like sooner or later when, I, when we watch season three, you'll hear my thoughts on episode one for Flash. And yeah. So everything else is pretty excited about, which I'm so happy about. So, um, yeah, that's just my thoughts on The Flash. And Arrow, I'll do an Arrow episode later on today. I'm just not a huge fan of Arrow, so well, I used to be, but not no more what they did for season, th- for season three and season four. So, yeah. Um, so, what else is there anything of it? If you don't, if you guys don't like, if you don't like this show, then you don't have to like it. In my opinion, it's a great show. I recommend you to watch it. It's PG-13, so your family, family and kids can watch this. I think it's a good show to watch. And I really enjoy it a lot. It's an awesome show. And it's awesome. I love watching it. I pretty much watch it every day on my fire stick. And I watch season I watch all of season one. So my favorite for so far my favorite episode for season two hmm I have a couple but my favorite one is when um wait no I'm thinking it's hard to think what's my favorite episode. My favorite episode is when um he travels back in time when he tries to get, he acts as Ebert Thorne, aka okay, the fake Harrison. We go back to where um he was the Flash from season one, to um act get Harry to make him faster by making the attacking on devices. Where is the device that makes the speedster more faster and stuff like that? So um, and then I like the part where it's in the Speed Force. A lot of people didn't like the episode. They thought the episode was kind of boring though, but I actually kind of liked it because he was inside the Speed Force, and I was so excited for that. Um, I think that's pretty much it, actually. Um, not if I can think so. Um, there's really nothing to talk about. Nothing bad for about the show. Yeah, everything else is pretty, pretty good so far. The, act, the director did a great job on the show. I really do love the show a lot. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's it for this video. Um, please give us a like and comment below. Well, what's your favorite episode? And, and why, if you don't like the show, explain to me why you don't like it and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much, and um, have a re- have a fantastic day. Later on today, I'll do a reaction on Arrow. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye.